Once again, welcome back students. As you can see on the board, today we want to work a problem that has to do with finding the circumference of a circle. Circumference equal pi times d, which is the diameter of the circle. And we, if we would look back when it comes to circle, what is the diameter? The diameter is this line that goes across a circle from west to east. Remember, you can subscribe for more videos, nevertheless. We want to go straight into the problem. We want to find a circumference of this circle that has to do with the radius. If you realize, quarter of your diameter is your radius. And here we have the full diameter from one length to the next. So we want to find a circumference of this circle and of this circle with the radius. So this radius is a quarter and the diameter is the full length of the circle from west to east. In this circle, they gave us the radius, not the diameter. So in order for us to reach to the point where we have to solve this circle and get our answer, so because this quarter of this circle is seven, the next quarter to complete the half, it will be also seven. So now when I add seven plus seven, 14. And remember, how do I get the 7? Because I know from one length to the next end of the circle, that will give me my diameter. And if they just give me a quarter of the circle, which is my radius, it means in order for me to get my diameter, because this quarter is 7, this next quarter has to be 7. So my diameter now is 7 plus my next quarter, which is 7. Now I could solve the problem and say circumference equal, remember pi, is either 22 over 7 or 3.14. So remember we're going to solve this problem using both 22 over 7 and 3.14. So let's solve this problem first using 22 over 7. So pi is just a rule, pi is equal to 22 over 7 times my diameter, so now 7 plus 7 is 14 and that's how I get my 14. Now I could simply get my answer by saying 22 times 14 and divide it by 7 but I can observe that I could cancel and remember when you cancel it's either in an x form or from top to bottom. I cannot cancel top and top or bottom and bottom and as I can observe 7 could go into 7 1, 7 could go into 14 2. And when I multiply 22 times 2, so the circumference of this circle is 44 centimeter. How did I arrive to that 44 centimeter? Remember when I got the problem? They didn't give me the full diameter of the circle. They gave me a quarter of the circle. And I know a quarter of the circle is the radius. But in order for me to get the diameter, I need to add another quarter to this circle will give me the full diameter. And if this quarter is seven, then this has to be seven. After I change this now to my diameter, I know it's 22 over seven as pi times my diameter, which is 14, seven plus seven. And I just cancel out seven into seven, one, seven into 14, two, 22 times two is 44 centimeter. Let's solve this very same problem, but remember this time, we're going to use pi as 3.14. So I need to add the next quarter of the circle to give me my diameter. So if this is seven, this quarter of the circle, it means the next quarter is also seven. So I will have to add seven plus seven, which will give me 14. And now I have my full diameter of the circle. And it's seven plus seven, which is 14. So we're going to solve this problem now using pi as 3.14 times my diameter, which is 7 plus 7, which is 14. And in order for me to get the circumference of this circle, I simply have to multiply 3.14 times 14. And that will give me my answer. 4 times 4 is 16. Bring on a 6, carry the 1. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1, 5. And respect my decimal, 4 times 3 
is 12. So I get 12.56 by multiplying 4 times 3.14. So now we go to our number under the tens place. 1 times 4 is 4. Inspect your decimal. 1 times 1 is 1. And 1 times 3 is 3. Then we're going to add this. And that will give us our circumference of the circle. So 6, 5 plus 4, 9. Respect your decimal. 2 plus 1, 3. And 3 plus 1, 4. So what is my circumference? My circumference of this circle is equal to 43.96. Again, a quick review of this problem. Remember when they gave me the problem, they gave me the radius, which is the quarter of the circle. Usually add the next quarter in. And now I have this full line going through the center of the circle from west to east. And now this is called my diameter. So since they gave me a quarter of the circle, this is 7, I need to add another 7. So 7 plus 7 will give me 14, which will be my full diameter that will go through the center of this circle. Then I just come and use the formula circumference equal pi times d, which is the diameter. And circumference this time, remember we're using the 3.14 times 14 that I got from the quarter and the other quarter that I add. So 7 plus 7, 14. And when I multiply the 3.14 times 14, that gave me 43.96, which is my answer. So the circumference of this circle is 43.96 centimeter. And if you realize that if we solve this one here, we will get the very same answer because this is the diameter through, through the center of the circle. So all I will do is 3.14 or 22 over 7 times 14, since this is the full diameter of the circle. And that will give me my answer 43.96. Remember, if you're finding the circumference of a circle and they give you the radius, you just add the next quarter of the circle and that will complete your total diameter, which is the line that goes through the center of the circle. And whatever your radius is, just double it. So in this case, it's 7. So I just add the next quarter, which is 7, and 7 plus 7 is 14. And 3.14 times 14 is 43.96. You can subscribe for more videos. Many, many more coming soon for PSC students. Share with a student that is taking PSC or share with a parent of a child that will take PSC. Thanks so much for tuning in. Remember to subscribe for more.